have an admission to make and also to say I have learned a huge, huge lesson over the past few years. And my admission is that although uh, most of my life I've been interested in the presidency and I've always voted in every election, except for the last election, but I told you a story about that. You can watch the video ahead of this. But the, the lesson is, you know, when it came to local government, uh, city council, when it came to like governors and mayors and government on a local lo level, I never really looked at who I was voting for. I just sort of voted for, if I was a Democrat, I just hit Democrat on everything. Or, you know, if I would uh, was a pu Republican, I would hit Republican on everything. And that's how I would vote for local officials. Never really um, looking at their campaign, looking at what they're for, this and that. And the past few years, I've realized just how important that is living in California and seeing the homeless situation and seeing our local officials, officials not do anything about it. Um, so it really hit home just how important it is to know who you're voting for on a local level. And uh, some interesting stories came out of Minneapolis and Minnesota in, in general this weekend. The first one being uh, Minnesota was seeking uh, $500 million, so half a billion dollars in federal aid uh, to help with all of the damage caused by the rioting and looting and protest. Um, so they asked the federal government for this money and it got denied. And the reasoning it got denied was because the local governments um, asked their cops to stand down, um, refused at first for help from the federal government for um, uh, the National Guard to go in and for any kind of help they needed. They refused the help. They finally they finally um, asked for the help to come in, but there was a long time that they, they went without that help and they actually refused it. So they refused help by the, by the federal government and they asked their officers to stand down and watch their city burn down. So it, it got denied and there was a letter from a local Republican congressman from Minnesota to the Trump administration asking them to really look and evaluate at the response to these um, to the riots and to the looting and to see how we can better respond in the future and maybe we could learn something about this instead of just blindly giving them this money and fix the problems. Um, now there's two arguments to this. One, there are a lot of innocent people whose livelihoods have gotten destroyed and it really sucks for them not to have funding by federal aid and they didn't do anything to deserve this. And I completely understand that. Um, I also completely understand why it got denied. If local government isn't gonna do their job and they're gonna allow this to happen, why should taxpayers have to pay for the fact that they allowed their city to basically turn into a burning hell? So there's arguments on both sides, but what it has me conclude to is this. It is so, so important to know who your local officials are and know who you're voting for. Um, Minneapolis is also the city that is proposing a 50% budget cuts in their police department. Um, they also recently, a story came out, 150 officers have filed for disability claiming PTSD over what happened during the, the um, riots and all the looting. I didn't realize this, but the third precinct in Minneapolis got burned down and there were actually officers in the building when it got burnt down who were sending texts to their families, not, not sure if they were gonna make it out alive. Uh, that's pretty traumatizing, especially when your local officials are telling you to stand down and they don't have your back and now they're defunding you in the face of that. Um, and the interesting thing about the defunding police, if you were to pull Americans, I believe it's something like 80% of Americans, um, but definitely more than half. Most Americans are happy with police. Most Americans do not want to defund the, the police. So who are these people in, in office that are doing this? It's very clear they don't have the common interests of the people of their, their cities or the futures of their cities. And this is purely political. And it, it just really made me think and, and made me realize how incredibly important understanding your local politics and your local officials and what's going on locally. I've, I've never seen politics affect people in my lifetime in such a in such an immediate and drastic and devastating way. So this is what's happening in Minneapolis right now. Um, I know some of these police officers have a lawyer, so it'll really be interesting to see um, what's happening with their defunding of the police, what's gonna happen to these police officers. Um, I believe that's like 10% of their entire police force who is going to be going on disability. And I feel really bad for the citizens of Minneapolis um, and St. Paul, the Twin Cities. I know a few businesses have already pulled out, citing they did not feel like their officials protected them. 
and they did not feel that their officials cared about them during all these times. They just let their businesses burn down. They let their livelihoods burn down. So, you know, vote locally, kids, <laughs> pay attention to it. And I'm guilty. I used to never pay attention to it. I just assumed, hey, if I'm a Democrat, I'm going to vote for all the Democrat locals. If I'm a Republican, I'm going to vote for all the Republican officials. And now we see what happens when we don't pay attention to it. I've seen it in L.A. They're voting to defund our police. They did the same thing at first. They let things burn down. They let rioting and looting ensue in a lot of our streets. I saw the damage firsthand. It was pretty devastating. Thankfully, most of it is under control now. And we eventually did have the National Guard come in and they were guarding our neighborhood, our neighborhoods. Uh, so this didn't happen. But it just seems wild to me that the, the city council in Minneapolis, after this happens and after seeing such a surge in crime, are are actually voting to defund the police you would think they would take a step back and get everything under control and then talk about this but that's what's going on there and it's a little lesson i learned this weekend uh well actually you know the past few years to be honest with you but i hope you're having a great weekend i'll see you later bye